Take a look at this object. One glance and you know what it is. But how do you know what it is and where it's positioned in space? Well, let's break it down. The light reflected by this object is converted by your eyes into an electrical signal and is sent down a neurological pathway called the optic nerve to the back of your brain. Starting in this region, called the visual cortex, the image is cross-referenced with memory of past experiences stored throughout your brain as you try to identify the object. Once it's figured out what it is, your brain has to decide how the object is positioned in space, and one of its most reliable tools is to use shadows. Here's another illusion to show you how that works. Take a look at that basketball again. We're going to put it on the court and move it along a diagonal. Now we're going to add a shadow. It's still moving in the same way, right? Okay, so what if we change the position of the shadow? Do you think we can trick your brain into seeing the ball's motion differently? Does it look like the ball is taking off now? Let's tweak the shadow one more time. What's the ball doing now? Looks like it's bouncing, right? In a world with a single light source, your brain has learned to trust shadows as a near foolproof way to know the behavior of objects in space. And in general, it's worked. Our mental model about how shadows work is so strong that it distorts the information that we are getting through our eyes. So the interpretation of reality is very, very different than reality itself, because whatever we perceive is based upon our existing mental model and may not reflect the reality.